Mobirize members system designed specifically for Mobirize sites and it's nice and easy to set up. It's a complete template that uh, you can customize as you wish in Mobirize but includes all the member facilities. So let's just have a quick look at uh, what it's all about. Um, so on the members side uh, members can register um, you can switch off the members registration system so that uh, only the admin can add members if you wish so let's uh, add a member um, and we'll choose their email address uh, it's optional to add their website and Facebook um, enter their country choose the user user ID so the user would en enter his chosen user ID and a password and then he has to click to accept the terms of privacy um, then he creates his account right, the application has been processed now they have to confirm their email address before they can use their account so they should have now received an email and any second now there we go so they received the email to say that um, they need to validate their email address and they simply click the um, link in the email which will take them to the verify it automatically fills in the verification code but they can manually they can type that in if if it doesn't work and their email address and then they click the uh, verify and their account is now active so now they can go to login and using their email their ID and password and now they're in and here is the members homepage content um, and there are several members pages here that I've created as demos so you could have a news page you could have an offers page uh, you could have a photos page whatever whatever you want for your specific members um, and they can change their password at any time simply by going to the change password and so they enter their current password and their new password and then repeat the new password and the password has been changed so the member if they they're not logged in so if if they're not logged in and they go to the members home page then they will get the message to say that uh, pages access is denied and that applies to all the members pages and then as soon as they log in then they can then view the page without that um, you have been denied page okay so let's just log out now let's assume we are a member and we've forgotten our password then we simply click the forgot password link and enter our user ID then the user ID and click reset password if the user ID exists in the system then they will get an email there we go so they've been sent an email and we can check the emails now and we should have a reset password email 
There we go. So they've now got a reset password and they've got a new password which they can now use to log in with. Okay, so that's how the user area works. So it's pretty straightforward. Now if we uh, look at the admin function, so let's log in as admin. Now if we go to the admin home, we can see we can manually add members if we wish in a similar format to um, adding the, uh, the self-registration um, and we can choose whether to send an email to the member after the account is added or not and you just simply click the box to do that. Um, okay so that's how we create a member so let's let's just create one just to show um, let's create uh, user 99 um, their email address and then you can enter the website or Facebook URL if you wish if you miss anything then you will get a mem uh, message to say what you've missed so uh, we want to send an email after we've added them um, no, sorry, we put um, there should be a member name there and the user ID there. So user 99 password template password there and we'll call this one Fred Blogs is his name. Okay, so we can now create a member and an email will be sent to him tell them that his account has been created. Okay, then we can edit existing members if we wish. So, like the one we've just created is Fred Blogs, and he's active. Um, so we can change his email address if we wish. Um, and uh, you don't have to resubmit anything, you just click out of, outside the box and it will automatically update it. So, as you can see there um, and if we change the country uh, it's been updated and we can turn them into active pending activation inactive suspended or banned in which case if anything other than A is there he won't be able to log in if he's just created the account himself and he hasn't yet activated his email then it will become a P for pending uh, activation and if we've got more than one page, then there will be different page numbers there. At the moment, we've only got four users set in here. Then we can also change some system parameters. So we can switch on or off self-registration. Um, we can choose the email address that's going to be used to send the emails from. And we can also change the email header logo. Um, at the moment, the logo is the standard one that comes with the system. Um, so if we switched off registrations, you will see they're now switched off. So if a member comes along now and tries to register, they will get the message to say that self-registration is disabled and they should contact you if required. Okay, so let's go back to the admin. Um, and switch the registrations back on. There we go. So we switch the registrations back on, and now if a member goes to the registration page, you can see they can now self register. Okay, so you can add as many members' pages as you wish, just in the normal um, Mobilize, system, uh, Mobilize editor and there's instructions on how to, or to do that in a following video. So look out for the video for setting up the system and uh, you'll be ready to go. It's amazing.